Hello Cancer, welcome to your mid-February to March reading of this current year. Okay, you know, I'm not gonna do that every time because like that's really annoying actually. Never mind, I even said that. <laughs> welcome to your mid-February to March reading of this current year. Currently 2019. Yay. Um, hope you all are doing well enough. I'm doing all right so far. For the most part. Um, I'm still doing personal readings in case you guys are interested. And you can hit me up with my email. It's in the description. Yeah. It's in the description box below, and my PayPal's down there if you guys want to do donations, because I really don't charge for readings. I just like doing them, because fuck it. But, I like tips. Especially love just tip. Mm. Anyway, we're going to do your reading now. Uh, things be whack, yo. Know. No whammies. Alrighty. Let's begin, Cancer. Oh, it's going to be Thunderdome, by the way. So there's going to be two readings in this. All right. So group one, here you go. The High Priestess reversed. <clears throat> Eight of Wands. Princess of Swords. Sneaking. <laughs> Queen of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. Ooh. Some of you going up against Earth. I wonder what that's all about. A nurturing nature. Uh, the Fool or the Sacred Clown reversed. Beginning theme is... Four of Cups. You guys got some regrets going on in your head or some shit? That's not good. She's in love with regrets. She do whatever you know is right in your heart. Either that or like you're just going to live in misery because it's never going to come off your brain because that happens. You know. But I'm speaking as a Capricorn. Capricorns live with guilt, like, all the time for shit that we don't even do. So, just keep that in mind. But, the High Priestess Reverse, right? Oh, Four of Cups. Yeah, you got a lot of shit on your brain. A lot of contemplations about, um, belief systems. What's going on in your heart. Like, you're definitely in your head, just from looking at that. Like, that's a lot of shit going on in your brain. And look, your cups are all knocked over instead of just one or something. Like, I don't even... Where is the other cups? Oh, they're just pouring shit on you. Holy fuck, that's a really dark card. Like, for real. <laughs> that is super dark. Anyway, um, yeah. So we have the high priestess right here. Someone isn't being honest about their true feelings. And they're just remaining where they are. Like, they aren't moving, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, they aren't doing anything. Um, you could either, group one, have, like, fire in your chart. You could be dealing with somebody who has fire in their chart. But this person is not coming out with their feelings, and they are not doing anything. Like, they're not moving, they're not running away, they're not, they're just, they're taking up space. <laughs> like, just looking over, like, what the fuck you gonna do? You know, like... I don't know. I feel like they're passionately stubborn. If that makes sense. Like. Like they're really good at hiding their feelings. I think with the high priest. Like it's hard for them to control it sometimes. But they're really good at hiding their feelings. But I think that they're very passionate about things. And then down here we got a queen of swords. Right? Libra Sagittarius. No. Libra. Aquarius. Fuck. No, Gemini. Okay, I got it now. Right. <clears throat> Excuse me. But yeah, like, this Queen of Swords, she's being very decisive. She is being very, um, careful in, um, what is she is choosing. She has a sword. She also happens to have, like, a stick or a wand here, I almost want to say. Um, but she is being a bitch. A very bitter bitch. She is, it could, this could be actually the same person. This is somebody who is, uh, this is somebody who is really good at hiding their emotions or controlling their emotions, except for maybe, this is weird. It's like little flare-ups, especially with the Knight of Wands, because he's very action taken. But the Queen of Wands, she gets really stubborn, right? Like, she's just like, I want it and I want it now. Like, that's what they get, like, when they get mad, especially Sagittarius, and it's like, this person, they have little outbursts of anger sometimes, but for the most part, they keep it all under wraps, and they are able to think without feelings. 
but they're passionate about it too so it's just kind of like it's almost like someone's a walking contradiction oh my god everything just went on the floor um oh i guess we're in the next card uh, the only thing that sucks about guitar is like i have to keep my nails short in order to play and like i can't pick anything up off the floor okay let us continue right so here's the eight of wands where someone is wanting and wishing for movement, for action, even though this dude isn't doing it. <laughs> it's just like, okay, someone's wanting this action, but they're not taking action themselves. So, how does that work? Are, like, are you wanting to take the action, but you're just not capable of doing it? Or are you just refusing to do it, and you're expecting it to happen on its own? I'm not, like, I'm not sure which, which one I'm picking up because, like, I really feel like this is almost the same person. Like, they're being impatient, but they're not doing anything about it. And over here, someone's wishing and wanting for movement. But here's the five of swords. Like, conflict, shady behavior, um, being a little sneakster, being a cheater, um, being manipulative mentally. Like, looking back at those that you've taken down. And I don't know, like... This is, like, a really weird reading for me. Like, I, I don't know why, but it's, like, kind of tripping me out a little bit. Because it's just like, what is this? Because there's not fucking water. There, there's only one water and it's the four of cups where someone's got a lot of shit on their brain and it's just like what is this this is like dark she me. so you got a queen of pentacles down here capricorn taurus virgo right in control of her element able to manifest and grow shit she's got a dress made out of a bush like a little old bush not like her bush you know um giving up or just being like have people like no no it's not anybody against her like she could stand on her own like she doesn't give a fuck um huh okay give me one second cancer must be hydrate okay so group one right Someone is wanting and wishing and waiting, looking back at those that they've had a victory over, waiting to take action. It's, it's, it's like they're waiting for them to come back or some shit, right? Like, they're waiting for that action to be taken. But what's going against them is, like, whoever it is, possibly an earth sign that they were, like, dealing with is in control of themselves and just kind of is, is giving up. Like, just not even bothering with it anymore. It's just like, nah. Like, it, it, I mean, like, I'm not entirely sure. Like, someone is supposed to be a provider, is supposed to be able to deal with it themselves, and they're just not dealing with the situation at all. Then we have this princess of swords where someone is like out spying snooping trying to get information trying to communicate but in a very immature way right like a lot of mental need to gather and understand it doesn't really bring anything about like all, all, all of that is just like it could be a libra could be a gemini it could be aquarius but it's like this person just Whatever it is, they were trying to find out or were trying to. I don't know. It's like this is fears and rejections, right? And it's like someone like found out or someone like was trying to discover something and it, it didn't take them anywhere. It was just a failed project. Like nothing took off. No matter how much they were snooping and how much they were watching and how much they were creeping, like it didn't bring them whatever. And then here's this hesitation with the full reverse or the sacred clown in this deck. There's hesitation, there's feeling like you aren't able to 
Establish your own energy in a world full of nothing but different vibes. There's a 10 right here. There's a completion. There's like... It's like somebody gained something after not doing something. That's the catalyst in final result. It's like not doing something is like the best thing you can do. For group one. That's what I feel like. I feel like group one... You just... Hmm. Someone's still hung up on the situation, though, with the hanged man. Still on your brain. Like, it, like you're at the crossroads. You're right there. You're at the tip of it. You can get the fuck away from it. It's like, it's right there. I can move on. I can go. But you're not. You're just hanging out, even though you shouldn't be. You're well past the time to hang out. And you're still stuck emotionally with some sort of baggage that you can't get rid of. It's like in your head. It's literally part of you at this point. It's literally attached to your heartstrings. I don't know how you're going to get out of it. I really don't. I mean, like, right here, like, this hesitation, there, like, there's going to be an end coming to this, right? Like, this dude isn't moving, but there's a want for movement, so I feel like maybe, like, Whatever this lack, whatever this resistance to go ahead forward is, is causing a lot of blockages mentally, emotionally, and and it's just time to like surrender something. It's time to like just stop with the hesitation. I feel like group one. There was definitely some emotionally manipulation in this. Uh, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So it could be the Cancer in this. Or Cancer, this could be somebody you were dealing with who made you fucking crazy. Like, you know, like, it totally sent your emotions out of whack and, like, messed you up a little bit. If this isn't you, Cancer, then, then like, this is somebody who is emotionally manipulative and is out of control emotionally. They aren't trying to understand somebody else's point of view. They aren't trying to look and see what things actually are. They are ignoring their internal voices. This is like someone refusing to tell somebody they love them just to spite them. And it's like, it's a really ugly face. Someone isn't going to be victorious in this either, with this wanting action, but looking back and like, this person down here just giving up on the thing, you know? Like, if this isn't the group one, if this isn't you, like, deciding, nah, I'm just gonna stabilize myself and do whatever, and just give up on the situation, this is somebody you're dealing with who's just given up on the situation because they'd rather just take care of themselves for now. What's the last card for group one? Cancer's ears always surprise me, but I think it's just because I'm a Capricorn. I don't know what to think of you sometimes. Ah, and the Wheel of Fortune's moving ahead with this regardless. So... All of this was wasted time because this is just going to come to an end anyway. There's going to be something to gain with this resistance to um, go ahead to this this uh, hesitation right here like someone's hesitated in order to gain something in the end like maybe some of these things if they wait long enough someone will come back to them I don't know we're going to move on to group two. Group two, it is your turn. Yay. Let's go ahead with yours. See what yours says. I'm curious. I think that's right, because I just fucked myself up. Fuck. Oh, well. Okay. 
Oh, well, since you're spirited enough. We can be first. First car is going to end up being the Hierophant Reverse. Someone's got some lesson to learn. Or someone needs to learn one and they're refusing to. Someone's trying to go against the grain, go against tradition. Oh, I forgot about the four cups. Shit, how did I do that? Oh, well, then you need to go back. Hold on. Do overs. Uh -huh. Wait, I don't believe in the cards being shuffled correctly if they're not all in there. Just send some bonkers. Alright, no amies. Okay. Group two, Wheel of Fortune Reverse. Shit is not moving for you. Oh, but there are some four of cups for you. The world reverse. The devil. Ew, what are you up to? Ace of Pentacles. Lovers reversed. Beginning theme, Nine of Swords reverse. Someone is definitely in their head and they cannot get out of it. Someone's caused their own problems. Maybe that's why they had needed a lesson to learn when I saw the Hierophant. Someone's definitely trapped in their heads about shit. Group two. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something is not turning because, like, there is a heartbreak someone needs to get over. They feel like they are still stuck in it. They want to get over it, but they can't. Mentally. Maybe not emotionally. It's more like they remember. That's what that feels like. It's like someone feels like they can't move forward because they still remember how much it hurts. And then down here in the situation, someone's playing the devil. Might be you, group two. There's definitely some ass backery right here. There's definitely somebody with them scandalous, ridiculous shoes playing the devil. But there's karma coming this way as well. Like, some sort of justice is coming at play for whoever was on the naughty list that time. Or maybe you were seen in the devil element and you're going to be justified with that. Because, like, it looks like somebody is still trying to get over a heartbreak situation that went on. Yeah. Yeah. Someone's definitely mauling over some stuff. Because the tower moment hit them. Like, it, something just knocked. Oh, my God. Okay. Player. Okay. Group two. Maybe not all of you, but somebody here has come to the realization that they did this to themselves. And that's, I, and maybe that's it. Cause like, someone had a tower moment where they realized something. Possibly that they were the bad guy and that's why they're having a hard time getting over something. Getting over a heartbreak. And like this ace, of, and 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 what's going against them right now? Their challenges is like they might be afraid that um, an offer won't work in their favor. Like it's not good enough. They didn't work on it hard enough. It wouldn't have been acceptable because they didn't try. I guess. I think. But usually, the, like, where the tower and the four cups is, that's like wants and wishes, but I also feel like there's this mental element there. Where is someone's just realizing this. It, it literally feels like someone's just recognizing that something went wrong, and now they're full of these regrets. They're full of, like... All of this stuff that these two other cups are pouring onto them that are making them question everything that's happened. Like, they're mulling over it. They feel bleak about it. And it's because of some realization that the tower brought. Some, something came down 
It made them realize, oh my God, I'm that, having difficulty with this because I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm still getting over this. It still hurts. And then there's some realization, there was some balancing here to see what was what. Then we have the world reverser here and the fears and rejections like there is a lack of completion. Um, someone wasn't able to establish a connection, I feel like, here. Like, she's got her arms wrapped by things from either side. And I feel like she's supposed to be the conduit, the person who brings things together. But I feel like it didn't work with this image. Yeah, this lack of an offer. Someone's afraid that, like, this lack of an offer will not work. Someone's afraid of, like, trying. Someone doesn't want to try. Or someone's scared of trying because it still hurts so much, too. And then there's the Lover's Reverse, which is the catalyst and final result here. Could be a Gemini, possibly dealing with a breakup with someone you, you were soulmate with or whatever. Still waiting. Looking over to see if you should reap what you've sown. There's a lot of time, a lot of patience put into this. It's like someone just realized why someone broke up with them. You know? It's like, the, and then, like, with the Four of Cups and the Nine of Swords right here. This is a lot of, like, someone just realized that, like, they fucked up. And that's why the other person is, like, the way they are. Yeah. You're, and you're keeping that to yourself, too. With the Four of Pentacles reversed. This is somebody who um, very much recognize. Yeah, you're unhappy about this entire thing. It, it like It's just put a cloud right in front of your sunshine. Could be also with the Leo, too, if you're dealing with it, if it's not in your chart. And the world is saying that this is over. This is complete. Like, someone really sees that they fucked up a relationship, I think. That's literally what I'm seeing right here in front of me. Yeah, and like, someone is definitely wanting to come out of feeling like this. Hmm. Well, that is the reading for y'all, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.